coming in today. Now you focus on commercial real estate. Um, tell me more about that and what you do. So I, I joined in the real estate world. I started with mortgages, actually. That's the back end of a transaction, if you, if you look at it in a, as a full spectrum. And unless otherwise you close the loan, there is no closure of the property and they're taking possession of the asset that the one is desiring to buy. So I deep dived into mortgages, understood everything, and I was doing underwriting and loan processing and how it works, and then I moved on to residential real estate, and I was on top of the game in 2005. All my offers were getting accepted, not just because I was, I was getting the highest and best offer. And then come 2008, um, we, we all know the recession, and then I was working with the banks and investors for foreclosures and financial institutes to buy the uh, paper uh, on the real estate. And uh, that gave me a lot of like learning curve. The investors are very demanding and savvy, and then you had to keep the pace with them to deliver. Uh, during that time, the regular buyers disappeared. Nobody mm -hmm. were buying. So you were dealing with the yeah. investors, and that's how it kind of moved it, you into just commercial. Moved to the commercial. And then I myself became an investor, and then I acquired a few properties which have grown by 10 times uh, compared to 2010 to, till now. So I enjoyed the process of that, and then you're dealing with the courts, auctions, cities, uh, foreclosed properties, and tax liens of the city properties, and uh, attorneys on the other end. And then I saw the opportunity that, you know, the, the, uh, to acquire a commercial real estate building in Silicon Valley where, you know, Yahoo, Apple, and uh, Facebook, they, they own a lot of commercial real estate. They own their own buildings. And uh, uh, during that period, uh, it, there was a great opportunity to acquire an asset. It was costing you less than to pay a permit fee, just a permit fee uh, for, for, you know, building that uh, asset. So it was costing less than a permit fee, and I saw that opportunity. I helped my customers to acquire some of those buildings, and that gave me tremendous boost. And that's where you are from here. Now, I, we have a couple minutes left. I want to ask you, if people are interested, they see your process and how you went kind of, you started here, and you went up, and you learned all about the business. What, what would you say people should do? Uh, look at uh, the, uh, the real estate uh, landscape in your backyard, understand your own personality challenges and the local job market and take a plunge and work with a, a realtor uh, who believes like, you know, uh, do on to others as they do on to you. Uh, that's a, a sermon from Jesus on the mount. Uh, so I am a firm believer of that. So n apart from the knowledge, integrity, and how you deliver uh, also matters. Now what about the fact that people are like, wow, I would love to do this. What you're saying is great. I want to get into commercial investing, but I just don't have the cash flow. Uh, I answer that question in two ways. Like one is the cash from the buyer. Uh, that for that, actually, you can overcome. There are often times that sellers will be willing to do financing, actually. And there are private lending to come up with your part of the buying uh, money. And the other part is how you can improve the cash flow of the building or the asset that you're buying. There are always chances of improving. And the seller may be facing different sets of challenges. And then you can always look for how you can improve the zone zoning laws, a different usage of the building, changing the tenant, and dealing with so many other challenges that you may put in like a lot of new energy to overcome. Now I know a lot of people um, are really interested and want to learn more. They can go online right now, visit channelrealestate.com. You see it right there on your screen. You can ask questions, find out more information about investing in commercial. You can also call the number on your screen.